Welcome everybody. Today I want to show you how to solve scientific notation. Well, not really solve, but let's write numbers in scientific notation. Now, the reason why we use scientific notation is really to simplify a number. All right, um, I'm going to kind of work with some simple numbers here, but the whole purpose of scientific notation is when we're using very, very large or very, very, very um, small numbers that we need a convenient way to write them and also do uh, to do operations with them, such as adding and subtracting. Uh, but what I just want to work on today is just converting numbers to scientific notation and then converting numbers in scientific notation um, back into another uh, form. So if we look at a scientific notation, it can come in the form of a times n to a times n 10 to the nth power, where n is uh, any integer and a is any number between 1 and 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem. We have 1,230. Now, if I want to convert this to scientific notation, what I'm going to do is I need to write my number as far as a. So we know that 1,230, if I put a decimal point at the end and a zero, that still means the same answer, right? The decimal point is just going to be kind of our placeholder, I guess you could say, where our, number, our numbers are. Now, what this multiply by 10 means is that's going to tell you pretty much where your exponent goes. It's going to tell you kind of the place of where your exponent is supposed to be. So here is where our exponent um, sits, right? Now, what I want to do is if I want to write this in, in scientific notation, I need to make sure a is between uh, 1 and 10. So if I move my exponent to here, this number is smaller than 1, so that's not going to work. If I move it between the 2 and the 3, I have 12.3. 12.3 is not between 1 and 10 again. So therefore, I have to move my exponent between the 1 and the 2. So therefore, I have 1.2. Now, to write in scientific notation, I say, well, times 10, and 10 is going to tell, so 10, well, how many 10 places am I going to have to move that to my exponent back to where it was. Well, you can see I moved my exponent one, two, three places. So therefore, I'm going to say 1.2 times 10 to the third power is equal to 1,230. So basically what you want to do is say, choose your decimal point between your um, two values that are going to make it between 1 and 10, and then count how many places you moved to your decimal point, and that is going to be your exponent. So here, my exponent is at 0 between 0. So now I need to say, well, where should I put the exponent, or the, sorry, the decimal point, to make my number between 1 and 10? Well, I could say this is going to be 9.3. So if it said 9.3, that means I need to move the decimal point over 1, 2. Now, since I had to move it in the opposite direction, I am going to say that I move my decimal point 10 to the negative second power. All right, so make sure, because if you think about this, 10 to the third power is what value? Well, that'd be 10 times 10, which is 100, times another 10, which would be 1,000. Well, 1 1.2 times 1,000, oops, times 1,000 is going to move your x, is going to add your zeros over there. So 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that's where it's going to move your uh, exponent. I'm sorry, 10 times 10, yes, 10,000. So the next one, if I look over here, so now if I want to convert this over to regular to an integer, if I have 2.75 times 10 to the 6, all this tells us to do is to go in the right direction, to the right, and I need to use six decimal places. So it's at 2.75, so I need to move it over six spots. So I pretty much just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6. Okay? And then you just kind of fill in these spots with zeros. So my new number is 2,750,000,000. Right then over here, if I have a negative, that means I need to move my exponent to the negative three spots. So I can fill those empty spots with zeros. So I have 0 .00707. Alright, now what I'd like to do is I'm going to give you guys some problems um, that I want you to solve on your own, see if you guys can do it, 
and then I'll come back here and uh, show you how to do these answers. So this is where the editing comes in, and we'll delete this out. So write these problems down and do it. OK, here we go. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to quickly solve these problems. Um, remember, to write in scientific notation, I need my first number between 1 and 10. So I need to say, where can I write my decimal point between 1 and 10? And obviously, if I put my decimal point here, that's 173. Here, it's 17.3. Here, it's going to be 1.73. That is between 1 and 10. However, if I put it there, that means I moved my decimal point how many spots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to say times 10 to the 6th power. Again, the reason why it's positive, because if I write my number 1.7, to go 6 is going to take it back to where my number originally was. That means I need to go 6 spots to get it back to where it was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To here, I need to figure where can I put my decimal point? So it's between 1 and 10. And you could say, well, if you move your decimal point to right there, you moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll have 8.346. However, times 10. So if I have 8.36, if I want to put it back to where my original problem was, that means I need to multiply 10 to how many spots to get it to back to where the original problem was? Well, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is going to be negative 6. Another way to kind of easily think about it, guys, if your number is greater than 1 originally, or greater than, um, yeah, greater than 1, then your exponent is going to be positive. If it was less than 1, then you're going to have to have a negative exponent. Here, since I have my, my 10 to the fifth power, that just tells me I'm going to move my exponent 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now with these remaining spots, I'm going to fill them in with zeros. So my final answer is 713,000. Here, that's supposed to be a negative 6. My bad. I know you guys probably did all the 6 the other way. But if we go negative 6, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You just fill these all with zeros. So you'd have point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 7, 5. Now, I know a lot of you probably did it the other way, which I had written down. So let's do that. So if I move that 1, 2, and then there's going to be four more zeros. So it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4. So you should have 2,750,000. All right, guys, that's how you uh, simplify problems into scientific notation. Thanks for watching.